Hi folks, Marcus here and today I'm at Hunter Gather Cook. This amazing place is uh, really exciting for me to be. I'm looking forward to cooking here today with the guys. Very excited. You want to check this out. Uh, there's three different places where you can shoot a deer. Where well, you can shoot them anywhere, but three different places where it'll be effective. So you've got a chest shot, and you've got like a kill zone about that sort of size. And what you're trying to do with that is you're just causing a massive sort of disruption to blood supply. So it's a huge, it's a hemodynamic uh, shift basically. Yeah. You're causing a huge drop in pressure, so the animal just collapses that way. Whereas the other two areas are in the neck, so you can go low neck or high neck, or you can go for a brain shot. So if you imagine chest shot, you're about that sort of size, so it's, you've got a larger margin for error. Um, and then it gets debatable about neck and head shots. So some people uh, sort of say it's unethical to take neck and head shots because they're a small tar smaller target zone and there's a lot more mo movement. With a neck and a head shot, it's a nervous system disruption. So whereas one is about dropping blood pressure really quickly, this is about completely disrupting the nervous system so the, the animal just drops on the spot. But your margin for error is a lot less. So it's, uh, you're balancing that all the time about, okay, can I take a, a safe shot is the first thing. And then the next thing is thinking, okay, whereabouts do I place that shot? And what, is it within my capabilities? All the blood, all the clots come out and we're actually left with a really clean carpet. The other one I had to do, I had to do on the ground, and that still has a lot of blood inside it, because I wasn't able to suspend it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just pull it away. Just start to move it away. So, it doesn't, that's it. And like those little bits, that's okay. Where you're gonna get a run is here. So work low, and come up underneath it. Not so just peel down either, so do you want to have a crack? Yeah. Actually it's, the animal's wild, it knows nothing else and then a bullet hits it. So it's literally lived a completely free life, bullet hits it, it's over. So it knows nothing different. So it's the closest you can get to being ethical about your food without becoming a vegetarian. If you believe that a the reason you're vegetarian is because you want the best for animals. Yeah. So actually hunting and butchering your own is really close to people that are making ethical choices yeah. about being a vegetarian and a vegan. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. So now what I'm doing is just taking this out at the very bottom. The colour of this just pops on the... Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? So, and obviously you have to take this out and trim off some of the silver, which is beautiful. To trim the silver off is really simple, same way as filleting a fish, just put it under and run it through. So this bit here we're taking off is actually the silver side, so let's see, once you open it up and get into it, you're effectively just taking apart all these different muscles that are just held together by membrane. And the quality of cut quite the same, like, obviously a butcher doesn't do it quite the same way as this, he'll steak, do steak cuts like that. 